Hey everybody, thanks for checking another video. So if you're familiar with the It Runs Doom memes, then you may know that Doom runs on basically everything. Uh, and you may have even seen it run in the browser before, possibly. Uh, so what I want to do for this video, I want to showcase Doom running on my website, but I want to show it a little bit different, kind of give it a bit of a twist, and show all the different ways that you can run Doom on my website. So let's just jump right in and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, if we go to my website here, it's dustinbrett.com. And I've kind of uh, doomized my website here and added a Doom wallpaper just for today, just to be a little different. And what I'll do here is I'll drag and drop on some of my Doom ports that I want to show for today. I've dragged them on here as this uh, Doom folder. And if we open it here, I've got seven different ports I want to discuss today in various ways. And I also wanted to discuss uh, some other stuff. But yeah, let's just kind of jump right into the, the ports and, and see which ones we have here. Because my, my site has a bunch of different apps for doing like various emulation uh, of various kinds and yeah let's check it out so if you were just to go to my site normally even before it was all doomified there was a doom shortcut here that's cut that's just how i've always kind of rolled is i have a, a doom shortcut and if you open up the file location here it's actually a js dos file which is basically just a zip file that has uh, the dos version of doom and this this runs on my website using the js dos slash dos box uh, web assembly port it's called and if we oh I can't run it while I'm open while I have it open there, that's one little, that's one little bug with my I, I wouldn't call it a bug but it just can't be open in two different ways. You could probably have that limitation with your old school OSs and I guess I have that one as well. So we can just load it here and you can see this is the DOS one. It's kind of the one I grew up with. It's one of my fun my favorites actually. And what we can do is kind of just go through a little bit of a speed run of of these to see if there's any differences. Uh, and there's definitely a difference in quality between the different ports. I would say the DOS one, I believe the DOS one was the original, that's from December 93, the DOS one came out. And it's the one that I set up on my friend's computer, and my computer, and it's kind of the one that we used to play back when, right before Windows 95 came out, I guess, when it was like 1993, 94-ish, I suppose. I don't think I got it the second it came out, but close to it. Uh, so, okay, yeah, that's a pretty reasonable speed run of 29 seconds for the first map. And that's the, the DOS way to play it. So that's a cool way you can play it. So some of the other ways we can play it on my site. This is a cool one, and this is also kind of a tough demo. Uh, hopefully it'll work out for us here. But another way you can do it is running Linux via the x86 emulator called V86. And what you can do is you can boot into a live CD. This one's called Damn Small Linux. And Damn Small Linux actually has a package manager and these package files called DSL files. And they have a, a prepackaged binary built of doom that we could use and i actually have the ability to download packages when i'm using this emulator because it uses a websocket proxy that's actually just free out there in the, in the world that i happen to utilize from time to time uh and it, it works so you can actually go to the browser and just type in addresses and go to them and that's what we're going to do right now for this demo because i don't have it uh, perfectly set up so what we do is we go to distro dot i what is it i b iblio.org that's simple enough and then we pick our damn small linux we pick the my dsl that's like their package manager possibly don't don't quote me on that i have no i just made that up uh, but that's that's how i interpreted it when i tried to use it we can search for doom here on their page and they have it doom.dsl so we can download it here and get it kind of loaded up on the term in the terminal and what we do here we can test it it, it takes a few seconds to download and i have no idea in this browser how to monitor the downloads, but we can set up the command. It's my DSL dash load, and then it's just the doom.dsl. If we click it here, it's probably going to say, yeah, it, it's not at the end of file yet. So we have to wait for it to download. It might take a minute or something through this WebSocket proxy. And while it's doing that, one of the cool things in my site is you can do multitasking. So what we'll do is we'll go back to that folder. We'll go back a folder and we'll go check out the next release. So the Linux one came out September 94. The next one is the Sega 32X that came out in November 94. And that I also have the ability to do to load Sega 32X ROMs. So we can play the Sega 32X version here. Just like that. And this is uh, the Sega, basically Sega's port of Doom. Uh, entering level one. Ooh. This is a little unique. Let me move this a bit so we can get the full thing, the full beauty of the Sega port here. And I can still do my speed run in reasonable time. How do I open the door on this one? Z. Okay. The controls are a little bit different in each one of them, which is reasonable because these consoles that I'm going to demo kind of had different controls as well as the, the PC and uh, 
yeah, I guess the PC and the console are the only two real platforms for interacting with it. Boom, done. That was the Sega 32X one there, and I don't think it tells me how quick I finished it, but I did. It's got terrible music. Let's try this Linux one again and see if it's loaded now. Still still doing its download. Okay, cool. We, we finished, we speed run the entire level before it finished the download. Let's move on to the next port that I can also support, the Atari Jaguar. Uh, never never heard of that console myself until recently when I figured out how to get the emulator going. But in, in November 94 as well, this one came out for the Jaguar. So it came out for Sega and for Atari, which is kind of cool. I think this is about the same time that... I think that the source code came out for it, but I don't know. These are official ports, so I don't think the source code would have had to have been released yet by the people that released it before this could have come, come to fruition, as they say. I don't know who says that. Somebody says that. The kind of people that release Doom source code might say that. Uh, okay, this time it's S to open the door. All right, and shooting is X, it looks like. Uh, this one's a lot darker. This one's got nice shadows. I don't know if the Atari Jaguar was known for its, its shadows, but they've done a lot better with the shadows here uh, at the cost of performance, it feels like. So much slower. Just brutal. Oh, was it S to open the door? I've already forgotten. Yeah, okay, nice. I have a feeling the Linux download will be done by now because... This one is slow. This one is almost unusable. Oh, hopefully I make it. That would be rough if I didn't make it. Here we go. Oh, I got shot in the back right at the end. Made it. Nice. Okay, that one's pretty fun. That was the Atari Jaguar. Another cool one. Um, now that we've tried that one, I want to try this Linux one again. It's going to work. I have a good feeling about it. Let's try it one more time. Yes, it downloaded. Okay, so that was like the... I've installed the package week twitch that it did and then we type lx doom and we can play doom and i don't think we can resize it I, i've tried to resize this before and it does not resize but that's okay because it's actually plays really smooth so at least it's got that going for it it's quite fast there's no audio i think with the v actually yeah why isn't there any audio i think it might just be damn small linux doesn't have audio drivers linux and audio drivers are always like a it's a cat and mouse game i feel like for me it is but, uh, but it's so much smoother. Oh, I just flew past that. That was a heck of a speed run. Was that like 20 seconds? Let's see how close I am to guessing that. 21 seconds. Oh, I was close. All right. So that's the Linux one as well. That's pretty cool. We can close that one now. Uh, next one on our list from September 95, the next port I have is the Super Nintendo port. That's pretty cool. I had a Super Nintendo. I think I maybe had this. I don't know. I think I would have been too young for my dad to buy me this. But this is the Super Nintendo one. I, I'm pretty sure it's very low quality. The Super Nintendo... Oh yeah, that this one's rough. I kept the music though. The music I can hear a little bit in the background. Oh, now it's Z again to open the door. Okay. This, actually, the speed is, is reasonable. It feels like speedy. I, I'm also getting hurt like quickly though, so that bothers me. I have to get to the end of this thing. I think it's a lot harder, this one. Oh, they don't have the side panels. Oh, made it. Yeah, that one was a lot harder. So that was for the Super Nintendo, 26 seconds. Pretty nice. It's another way to play Doom on my site. Uh, the next one here is a pretty cool one. This one's kind of going off the beat of the, emu of the emulator ones. Uh, and this is em instead of emulating consoles, I should say. And this one emulates Windows. This is the Wine is Not an Emulator one. Uh, and for this, I use something called Boxed Wine. And it can run Wine on my website. So it can essentially run Windows 16 and 32-bit apps. So this is running Doom 95, and you can even pick WAD files here, which are kind of like the game files, which we'll get into in a second here. That's another little piece you can do with this. But basically, there you go. You can uh, now we're running like the Windows 95 version of Doom, uh, that port, which is pretty pretty much the same, pretty reasonable. I think the audio is not great on Boxed Wine. That's my memory of how Boxed Wine works. Oh, so we're getting quite a bit of ch choppiness here as it tries to play more audio. Oh, especially near the end. But I think we're doing pretty good for time still. Yeah, we're going to make it. Nice. Okay, pretty cool. So that's running the Doom WAD, Doom 1 WAD for Doom 95, 23 seconds. Now, one thing I wanted to show here is something called Free Doom. I'm going to drag that on here, just dragged it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract Doom. I have the ability to extract zip files on my website as well. So we got the Doom folder here. And now we're going to also extract the free Doom folder. And this one has custom WAD files that are free to use. 
And I'm going to take the free Doom 1 and 2 WAD files and put them over here. We're going to control A to select all files, and we're going to add it to a new archive. And now this new archive will include those other files. Because BoxedWine, you have to open like from a zip file, so it has to have, already have everything in the zip, basically. So now when we load Doom 95, we will have the ability to do custom WAD files. And we can pick free Doom, which is kind of cool. And now you have like a whole other experience with it where you can play free Doom. And Free Doom is something I've never really played, but it's basically just using the Doom engine to play a completely different Doom game. Oh, and again, I'm getting really abused by the audio for it here, which is unfortunate. Um, that's something where I'd pick, I would hope to figure out how to turn it off, the audio. Oh, maybe I can from here. That'd be cool if I could. Down volume. If I just completely kill it, does that... Oh. How easy is it to go left and right? I can't even go left and right, though. Oh, here we go. Okay, so no... Oh, there's still something. Yeah, I think as long as there's any amount of audio, it's going to be laggy for this. Although... No, yeah, I'm pretty much right. That's pretty cool, though. So so this is one that doesn't run on my website as smoothly, but this allows you to do custom WAD files, which is kind of cool. And I think it's actually something you can do with the DOS one as well. If we open up the DOS version of Doom that I have here... And we extract that. The JS DOS file is also just a zip. And we take that same WAD file. Let's take this one here. I think the trick is, though, that we have to delete the Doom WAD. So I'm going to delete the Doom 1 WAD. And I'll, call, I'll name free Dooms to Doom 1. Doom. Oh, man. Doom 1. Oh, I got oom. Um. Here, let me just refresh the page here. Because boxed wine sometimes messes with the keyboard. And it's making it harder to type. There we go. So Doom 1. Now what we do is we zip all this up. And it's the same thing, but instead of opening it in Boxed Wine, we open it in JS DOS. And I think it could... Oh yeah, there we go. So just like that, and it actually plays a lot smoother, I think. And the audio is much better. So here you can play Free Doom on my website using the DOS emulator. Oh, and it's just butter smooth now. Oh man, this is just... DOS is the way to play it. I mean, that was the original, and all the other source ports are like... Just not the same. And also my, my screen resizing works perfectly with it as well. So yeah, this is like free Doom on the DOS port. And it's butter smooth, I would say. This is the way to play it. Uh, and this is just another way you can play Doom on my website. This isn't even the Doom that, you're, that you'd be used to playing, but it's pretty cool. And I had one other port going back to the emulators and the consoles. I In two, October 2001, the Game Boy Advance also got Doom. Which I, I I never played it, but I thought that was pretty cool. And I, I think it's another one of those ones that's kind of lacking in hardware abilities. So I think you're going to have like a bit of a lag experience with this one. Oh yeah, it looks rough to start with. Um, okay, and then it switches from Enter to Z. Z is Shoot now. Oh, that's actually pretty smooth though, the speed though. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of the speed. Now it's X to open the door. Z to Shoot, which is okay by my... By my uh, call. Uh, actually, the speed's really good. They've really made its speed clean, but visually, I don't know what resolution it's supposed to play on, but this is so blocky, it looks gross a little bit. There we go. Boom. 24 seconds. Um, so that's that's the Game Boy Advance one. So uh, there you have it. That's seven different ways to play Doom on my website. I think there's probably a few more hidden in there somewhere if you keep looking. I do have other emulators, but those were most of the official port ROMs that I was able to kind of try out um so yeah thanks for checking out my video if you like it please throw me a like and if you want to see more videos like this and motivate me then subscribe and see you in the next one bye